Hello, Jamie Good here, continuing my exploration into this fascinating world of sake. And today, um, just a brief um, tasting of two particular sakes, and both of these are from a specialist category of sake called koshu. And it's also known as jukusei shu, which is matured sake. So this is stuff I'm learning in my WSET level three guide. And um, so, Aging sake integrates the flavors, it adds new flavors as well. And it says these are re reactions between sugars and amino acids. This is a very varied category because brewers have a lot of options to choose from in their production. And different styles of sake can be aged and the vessels used to age the sake are varied, not only in their size, but also in the material they are made from. Finally, the temperature of the maturation conditions can have a significant impact on the style of the koshu. So, um, there we go. This is there's a range of different styles. I've got two here, and I'm going to begin with this one here. And this is the um, from the Fukumitsuya Sake Brewery, and it's Mamato's Five Years, 2014. It's 70% alcohol, and the polishing ratio for this one is 65%. So let's give it a whirl. First of all, note on the packaging. I think this is really attractive. It's got a different texture to the glass and it's got a, um, uh, it's actually got a cork. It's, a, it's an agglomerate cork with a wooden stopper on the top. And it's the first time I've come across this in sake. Every sake I've had so far has had a, a short, um, a, a short sort of screw top like this, a short sleeve screw top. And um, yeah, and really nice labeling. Um, so let's see what it's like. First of all, the color. This is a, um, well, it's got some color. It's a sort of yellow gold color. It's not as deeply colored as um, you might expect. Um, what's about the nose? The nose has got really nice, um, how do I describe it? It's got some fruit. It's got some sort of pear fruit. What did I write in my notes here? Because I, I took some notes on this yesterday. A subtled honeyed dry fruit characters. The touch of pickled vegetable. Yeah. There's that as well. And it's got a slightly creamy dairy sort of edge to it as well. I think it's really attractive. The mouth is just broad. It's got some creaminess, it's smooth, and it's got nice length. It's got a lovely um, texture to it. It's a bit creamy. It's a little bit salty underneath all the, those, those fruity notes. And then there's some subtle nuttiness as well. Really beguiling and quite le quite good length. Yeah, I think this, um, the alcohol adds a little bit of warmth as well, which rounds everything off in the, in the mouth. So I think this is pretty good. I think it's a really nice, nice um, style, a gentle introduction to koshu. So the second um, koshu is this one here, which is, Vintage 2010, and this is from um, Tatsuma Honke Brewing Company, and this is Kurumatsu Hakushika Jukusei Koshu 2010 Vintage, 70% polishing ratio, 17.5% alcohol. So let's see what this is like. Um, just by way of comparison, this is obviously four years older than the other one, and it's darker in colour. It's a sort of a golden colour with a, maybe a little bit of bronze in the, the mix there, but it's a full gold colour. Nose has got really um, lovely savoury nose. It's got a little bit of fenugreek and some even a hint of molasses. There's a richness there. And then nuts and honey as well. Palette has some warmth. It's got a lovely savouriness. A little bit of caramel and dried fruit character there. Maybe even some raisin. And um, the finish is a bit of sweetness as well. There's a nice complexity to this. Really, um, really interesting. Yeah, two totally different wines, but then also a category koshu that's totally different from the other sakes that I've been trying so far. I think this is pretty good. I think this is very serious, this 2010. It's got a lot of complexity. 
So thanks for watching.